Hey everybody, it's Steph talking about the no spend challenge that I'm currently doing and maybe you're doing it with me or thinking about it. And even if you're not, you could at least think about these things and maybe you just wanna spend a little less. So today I'm talking about subscriptions. I went through and I've thought of all the subscriptions cause I have a lot of that I'm in or have been in in the past or whatever. Cause you know, you get a really good deal if you, especially the first month, if you subscribe to something and, um, and I'll do that a lot. Like I have auto subscriptions on Amazon. So once a month, all my stuff that I regularly get come, like I'll get paper towels or whatever. So each month I evaluate what's in there and I move things around based on what I need. AAA batteries are coming up, you know, that kind of thing. And I have canceled almost all of them. And I put it on a three month and six month um, subscription status to where certain things that I may not want to remember to get I'm going to try not to buy, but they're only going to come every three months. I'm not every month having five items or more coming. It made me evaluate what's in there. How often do I need it? And then if something's coming up, I'm going to have to wait three months before it's going to come next time. I reduced my Amazon subscriptions or deleted them altogether. Most of them, I only have a few things in there. Um, other things, I'll get them as I need them, as I've run out of something like batteries. If I'm down to, you know, eight batteries, time to order some new ones. You know, we go through batteries a lot, things like that. So Amazon subscriptions. Another thing, Ipsy. I did cancel that one a while back. Ipsy subscription, gone. I don't need all the samples I can do without. Anything that's like that, like Stitch Fix or whatever you might be into or have a subscription to, could you go for a whole year without it? I think you could. Butcher Box, we have a subscription to Butcher Box. I canceled that. We don't have to have Butcher Box. I could order if I needed to. Canceled that because I did have it, you sign up and you get a good deal, you know, when you first do it. And then I didn't want it every month or every two months or whatever, just whenever we kind of got around to it and I wanted some grass fed beef. So I would just push my subscription back because I was getting a free product for life or whatever. But, um, I, but I forgot this last time. I thought I'd canceled my subscriptions and everything was done, but I didn't I actually just pushed that one back at some point and a box showed up. There went some spinning for that day we're going to eat it. So it's not a big problem, but anyway, canceled, canceled that subscription. I canceled my death wish coffee subscription canceled. Um, you know, I've got K cups, lots of them in there to use. I'm going to use all those up first. And then I've got my reusable K cup. I'm just going to put my regular coffee in that. I don't need K cups in the future. I don't need to have death wish only. They've got it at a Costco now. So I go there and I get it. I don't have to have my death wish, wish subscription. Toothpaste, I've got that Boca subscription for toothpaste, canceled that. Oh, Kindle, I canceled the Kindle subscription. It was $11.99, that I'm gonna be saving a month. I'm just going to go to the library. All right, I got my library card here. It's expired, but I'm going to open my library card back up and do their audiobooks and their eBooks and do it that way. Why not? If whatever's there, I'm gonna use all of that for a year and see what's in there. So Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, all those things. I've got Prime because I'm keeping Prime, uh, but I'm thinking about canceling. I've got Netflix and I've got um, Hulu also. And sometimes we have Peacock or whatever it would be. I'm gonna try to go all year with just one other than Amazon because we don't have TV. We canceled that a long time ago. We just do streaming. So it's just, um, oh, we also have YouTube. Uh, premium. I am keeping Amazon. If I was real hardcore, I'd get rid of Amazon altogether, but I'm not that hardcore because we do buy stuff and I don't grocery shop and go to like Target and stuff. I do almost all my shopping on Amazon, so I'm not going to get rid of it because I get the free prime shipping. It comes along with Amazon video. That's fine. And Am Amazon music, which is great too. No Pandora, not going to have any of the things that are the extra upgrades. Just do it on the basics, but I'm keeping Amazon and I'm thinking I'm either gonna cancel Netflix and Hulu or just have one at a time. You know, if I wanna have Peacock, then we'll have Peacock and we'll get rid of the other two. We have a fire stick so we can get most things on there. We'll either have just Hulu or just Netflix. And then when it's time and we've seen pretty much everything on there, switch it over. You know, it's not like they lock you into a contract. So I'm thinking that's what we'll do for our entertainment is just have the Amazon and either Netflix or Hulu not both, not all three with something else. None of the apps I went through on the Max Go and stuff like that. Um, any of the premium channels and things that were monthly, all those subscriptions are done. Got them all out of there. Not that we had a lot, but you know, it just makes you conscious to go in there and see what could I get rid of. 
Do I need my extra storage space on Apple? Do I need blah, 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 whatever it would be. Just evaluate all your subscriptions, all your little bills. Once you start doing that nerd wallet and you see all your little bills coming out, you think about all those things. Could I do without them? Another thing I was thinking is AAA. Like, I'm gonna have to ask Steve what he thinks about this. Because I don't remember what we're paying right now because it's only once a year and it comes out and I'm sure, I'm sure I've got most of the year left on there, so it probably won't, but when it comes time to renew it, unless I can get a credit, but I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe not doing it because honestly, I feel kind of like jinxing if you cancel it, then all of a sudden that's when you're gonna break down and do it. But for how much we've paid, it's probably like, I think it's $79 a year for Steve and I both to be on there. I don't think we've ever used it, ever. And I have had AAA since I first moved out and had a car, you know? It's been a lot of years and I don't think I've ever used it. I think actually once we did, when we had the van, when we first bought it, I think something happened or it broke down or something. We had to have a tow. I'm paying that every year and never using it. I could have definitely paid for my own toes the whole way. Things like memberships, I've got a Costco membership. So most places that'll give you a AAA discount will give you a Costco discount too. Or Steve's military, you know, he could have Steve's military discount for almost everywhere too. Do I need it? I don't know. Let me ask Steve what he thinks. Okay, I was talking today about subscriptions to everything. I think we could get away with just having Netflix or Hulu. We'll cancel the other one. Agreed. Just have one at a time. Then when we've watched everything on there, then we cancel it, switch over to something else. Good idea. Uh, but what do you think about AAA? I like AAA and we don't use it a lot, but I feel like it's a... Don't use it a lot. How many times have we used it since we've been married? We've let other people use it. We have actually let other people use it. That's right, we've, we have. But what was when we worked people. at an office and somebody break down or whatever yeah. and locked their keys in their car? Hmm. Is it worth, like, I think it's 80 bucks or something. Is it worth that a year? 80 bucks a year? Yeah. I would think if one tow, you're making your money, but when's the last What time? all does it do? Like, what's the... They tow you? What's the biggest, the biggest dollar amount that you... That, the biggest uh, benefit of it financially? I think like, it's the assurance that, that like, Whoa, that was... if you ran out of gas on the side of the road, they come and they bring you gas. If you um, need to be towed, they tow you a certain amount of tows a year. Like I think you get three or four or something. If you have um, lock your keys in your car, they'll send like a locksmith guy or whatever out to do it. Hmm. None of these things are things we ever do. We only, the only time I can remember us using it. Was the van. Was, uh, something happened when we, on on, when we got the van on the way oh, home, we something got, happened. Yeah. Yeah, there I don't was, know if it's it was a tire. A, no, it was a, a hole in the um, this hose. It was nothing big deal. Oh yeah, it was the um, turbo hose. Turbo, or something. and it made this loud noise. It wasn't a big deal, but it yeah. And, and we, we were further it. from the distance of whatever it allowed, so we actually had to pay even more because we were on a road trip driving we were it in home. The middle of the nowhere. Nothing. For all the years that we've paid for it, yes. we have not made money on it. Yeah. But I like the assurance of it. I feel like we need it. It's like insurance, but do we? I, if you said, hey, if this, it's going to pay for something that happens that costs a $1,000. No, they're small little things. I never thought about it that way. I just thought, I know. hey, that's pretty cool. There's I mean, travel discounts and things like that, but we never use those. Like I say get rid of it. I never thought about that. I feel weird not having it. Because if, if we get towed once a year, <laughs> which we don't. No, and if we did. Most people's cars do not break down nowadays. Yeah, and we do have older cars, but. Yeah, but our cars are. I feel Could like if, if something happened with the Prius, they'd be like, oh, well, we don't do that car anyway, because it's electric. <laughs> <laughs> so cancel it? I think When it comes so. to renewal, I'm you, not going to renew it's it. It's weird we've never sat down and thought about never. that. Never. I, and I feel good having it. Yeah, if you guys it. can convince us to keep it, maybe we will. But yeah, maybe for a year, eh, we're doing a year of no spend. I could go without a year. I can't believe that we never sat down and thought about that. Never. Because I only pay it once a year. We don't know how much a tow cost. No, I have no idea. It might not be much. No, it might um, not. I guess I could call somewhere and ask them how much tow is. Yeah, but and, but say it's two hundred dollars. We don't in get two years. Yeah. No, never, <laughs> we just, never. We just uh, we've only been towed. That's the only time. I think it's got to go. That's a brilliant thing they've done. I they've know. Com they've convinced everybody you need AAA. I know. And we've used it more on other people than on ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Not that that was a bad thing. No, was a I'm glad thing. to use it because when it came up, yeah. we're like, oh, use ours. 
Yeah, yeah triple A's <laughs> We pay it for it. Us. Yeah. But I like triple A. They're great. Yeah. But I don't think we need it. Well, like you said, at the end of it, if, if all of a sudden you cancel it and we have like five toes, we'll get it next year. That's true. <laughs> we'll get it back. Yeah. But, okay. But no. It's going. Wow. That feels weird, but I, yeah, I say do it. Good job on your nose paint, man. Okay. Well, what else can we get rid of? Think of other things that you guys can think of that you could get rid of that we might be able to think of to get rid of too. If it's an annual thing, I won't even see it until it actually pops up and be like, oh, that too. So if you have ideas, let us know. It's actually a good idea to have people tell us what, like there might be something else obvious. That, that other people about. might read that we don't have maybe, but you do. AAA is going to go. Enjoy your life.